Christians that are, oh Jesus, Jesus, they're waving their arms and all that kind of, what's talking in tongues? What's that? It's a spirit entering them. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Really is. A benevolent one? Um, well, not always. Like, uh, there's this lady I, I was talking to recently in England. And she had five spirits with her when she came to my group. And uh, all of the five spirits were heavy, heavy, like they were born again Christians on earth. Mm. They were all in the first sphere of the spirit world. And they all had some very, very specific beliefs about, about God and how she should practice her worship with God. To the extent that she, they would injure her physically if she didn't practice what they told her to practice. Wow. And so they were obviously mm. not benevolent, they were malevolent. Mm. And, uh, and obviously we had to talk to those spirits about what they were doing to this lady. And once she uh, disconnected from those spirits, um, she could actually work out a lot of things after that point. But she was very heavily influenced, she's a very good medium, she's very heavily influenced by these five spirits who are attached to her. So just because a person's a Christian on earth, it doesn't mean that they're going to... It just depends on the emotions inside of them. The emotions inside of these particular ones is they were all slaves in the 18th century on the earth. They all had heavy Christian beliefs, but they were all slaves. And a lot of their, their uh, emotions about being slaves were all about anger with the people that had hurt them. And they were holding on to that anger, they weren't letting that go. And so they weren't in a good place themselves. And what happened with this lady, she was black too. So she had a lot of racial hatred as well within her because of terrible abuse that she'd received at the hands of white men in particular. And those two things caused the connection between herself and those spirits. Mm. Mm, thank you. So, yeah. so AJ, how do we find out if, if some of these spirits are hanging around? Like, oh, I don't seem to get that character. I don't seem to... Like it's always some other people have this amazing character. I'm like, just going around in a circle. So, like, oh, because I, I, you know, I don't want this baggage, all these things hanging around me. I, I love to be, you know. Every you know. single spirit that's attracted to you is attracted to you for a reason. They're there to help trigger your emotion. Mm. And so, if you can look at it that way, rather than looking at them as baggage, mm. right? They are actually helping you access to a more powerful degree your own emotion. Mm. The key for you now is to let yourself feel your own emotion. Once you feel it and release it, you also release the law of attraction with that spirit, which means that spirit will no longer be interested in you. And if they're malevolent, they'll go somewhere else. If they're benevolent, then they'll also probably back off from you and start progressing. So there's a lot you can do to assist the spirits around you. Um, Diane's not here today, is she? But there's a lovely lady up in, in Gibby who stays with the Millie. And she honestly, she will tell you straight to your, her, to your face that she has lots of emotions she needs to work through. But every single night, pretty much, or most days, she talks to some spirits that are with her and, and helps them get onto the divine love path. And she often feels the spirits come and she knows, oh, that one's attracted to me because of this emotion I just had, or that one's attracted to me. Or I played some music that I really love and that spirit came who, who produced that music or... And, and then she talked to them, you know, and she could feel them there. The key is, when you trust your emotions, you will then know somebody else, the presence, you'll feel the presence of somebody else there. And you can just speak to them like we're speaking. Even if you can't feel an answer in response. 